Bye, guy. Thank you for playing. I'm glad you got your fight off, but it wasn't enough. You want to swing at me, you better knock me out. Welcome back, everybody, to the show. I am your host, as always, Jay Villain, a.k.a. That Villain Jay, and tonight we have a very special treat for you. Yes, we do. I'm telling you to do something here, guys. Kill your heroes, man. Kill them. All right? Sacrifice them. They'll do you better dead than they will do alive. Why? We are running Orzov Sacrifice Hero Jank. We're going to hit so many triggers back to back and back. People are going to be, we're going to blow the doors off people. Uh, with the amount of kill triggers we're going to have. An absolute crazy... I, I mean, it's on the verge of jank, but it is it is uh, viable, absolutely viable, because I've I've crushed some people with this one out of nowhere. So uh, before we get into the shakedown breakdown, guys, I need you to do something for me. Do you know what I need you to do for me? And this is really important, guys. Tenderly press that like button. Gently press that subscribe button. Because if you don't, if you don't press that like and subscribe button, you will be attacked by the like and subscribe. That It's just going to happen. You're going to get mauled apart by the like and subscribe. Um, it will be done. Uh, he's a Phyrexian werewolf, so watch out for that. Join us on our stream every night at twitch.tv slash thatvillainj for all the live streaming goodness. We would love to have you there. Uh, live and in person we are almost at 1600 so we really want you to hit that goal with us and grow with us become a villain check out our discord community for all the latest news and information we want you there too. hang out talk get some challenges talk decks and everything else and of course this deck all the other ones that i build are available down below on my aether hub so please guys check out my aether hub down below all those links are in the description let's get into how this works uh, i've run through a few iterations of this like I said, Orzov Sacrifice, really heavy on the mono black, but Orzov is going to be an important part of it. Um, first, we're going to have Cut Down. Now, I was I was at debating whether or not we wanted to do Cut Down or we wanted to do Removal. We need a lot of Removal because our high end, we're really a mid-range deck. And if you're running mid-range, you're going to get out aggroed occasionally. People are going to absolutely run rough shot over you sometimes. Um, so you kind of have to get a lot of Removal in the game. Um... Do you need as much as you do? Maybe, maybe not. You can swap it. For my for my best of three guys, I like to put a Reckoner's Bargain, maybe another Okiba Raid Reckoner, and you can swap out some of these other things. Um, you can swap out different types of removal if you want. Uh, four, uh, eight removal altogether. Four cut down, two go for the throats, two Infernal Grasp. I'm not too worried about Infernal Grasp if you want to go for that because we are going to be gaining a decent amount of life with this deck. Um, so, uh, I'm not too worried, but eight removal is kind of my prescription there. You can up and down that depending if you're in a best of three situation, but that's kind of what I recommend because the meat of the deck doesn't really start getting going until four drops. That's when we really start getting into it. Three and four drops. So, uh, getting red aggroed is not too much fun. Okiba Raid Reckoner is a fantastic card to open up with because this is a gain and drain uh, madhouse right here and i like opening with that little bit of gain and drain it offsets the ability that we have to play caves of coilos we play caves of coilos gain and drain gives us back um we play something like infernal gas grasp the okiba raid reckoner is a steady drain on them and we also get that nice 2-2 menace which is really good uh we do really appreciate that going in it's also just fine when we have that 2-2 menace we go for the reckoner's bargain in case we need it which will lead us in our next card. Uh, nobody ever really uses this card, um, but I like it. One black and one. People say, oh, well, maybe there's better sacrifice ones. As a common, I'm already spending a lot of cash on this. As a common, one black and one instant. As an additional sacrifice, you gain life equal to the sacrifice, permanence, mana value, and draw two cards. Um, not bad. Uh, and it's artifact or creature. And we also have some artifacts and some other stuff we in there. So if you want to run a different sacrifice card, I mean, there are some other ones. Um, some sack and draw. I mean, there used to be deadly dispute and stuff like that. I wish I had that. But um, as far as cheap sacrifice and returns, it's not a bad one. It's not a bad one, especially instant. What I like to have it around, especially if people are running heavy removal on me, um... 
we need sacrifice outlets for this deck to work to begin with. But if people are running the heavy removal, uh, it's very, very useful to just be able to instead, okay, well, I'll gain life and draw two cards because you're going to play, you know, cut down on me or something like that. You're going to play Infernal Grasp. Um, all right, so now we're going to get into the combo plays and the legends. Almost every other deck, uh, every card in this deck is a legend. So we are getting into a little bit of Ratted Rabbit spam right here. Vran Executioner Thane. Vran's my dude, man. Soon enough, each Praetor will have hired me to kill the others, and I will stand alone as the true father of machines. This guy's got ambition, okay? Um, one black and one. Whenever one or more creatures you control dies, each opponent loses two life, and you gain one life. It only triggers once a turn. Don't worry. We're going to make it trigger many more times than once a turn. So he's a great opener, especially if people are playing kills, and especially, he's a Phyrexian vampire, especially with we put him with Elias Kor, Sadistic Pilgrim, because... Uh, this is a Orzhov drop, one black, one white, legendary Phyrexian core creature. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, you gain a life, which is nice. But whenever another creature you control dies, each opponent loses one life. What does that mean? That means with Vran and Elias core, whenever one of our creatures dies, the opponent loses one life. Uh, at the very least on the first hit. We have ways of multiplying that multiple, multiple, multiple times. And I'll show you the janky parts of how to trigger that many, many times in a row. Um, okay, so we're also going to go... Uh, Elias Core is the next one. Death Touch, too, by the way. Great blocker. We have four of her because she's just solid all around. Uh, Braid's Arisen Nightmare. A non-Phyrexian, but we do have a couple of nightmares, so she is fitting in pretty decently here. Two black and one, and she is a legendary. At the beginning of your end step, you may sacrifice an artifact, creature, enchantment, land, or planeswalker. If you do, opponent may sacrifice a permanent of that that shares a card type with it. For each opponent who does, doesn't, that player loses two life and draw a card. So when you're combining this with Vran, you can sacrifice a creature. If they have no creatures, they'll lose two life for that, two life for Vran, um, and one life for Elias Core. You can hit him for five life on a Braids. Uh, and then, of course, you're going to uh, draw a card off of that. So really, really good combo right there that we can hit the combo out with Braids. Uh, again, a legend, great drop, a nice three drop. We didn't really have any good three drops, so that's a good one. Three, three card. Staff of Completion. Look at this thing. I wish I had a model of this. On If I had enough money, if I was a rich man, I'd make somebody give me a, a welder and a sculptor to make me a model of this thing and walk around as a Phyrexian at the Magicon Philly. Three mana. Uh, basically has all the life that we want to sacrifice. We can get power from it. Uh, pay one life, destroy target permanent you control. Again, we can sacrifice something out, which is a really useful. We need sacrifice outlets for it. Uh, pay two life, and it basically is a Phyrexian mana. Um, counts as a Phyrexian mana. Three life proliferate, not too useful what we're doing. Four life draw a card when we have a lot of high um, life or even midlife, and we really want to get what we're going for. Five, we can untap staff of completion, and we can do it all over again. Um, so really, really nice kind of land... Like a three drop, it kind of fills the role of the Celestis, like a Phyrexian Celestis, where we can just tap it and get life uh, um, land out of it. Now, here's this big boy here. Look at this guy, Archfiend of the Dross. I love this guy. Uh, two black and two Phyrexian demon creatures, six, six flying. That's a hefty, hefty monster right there. Oh, yes. So he starts the battle, he enters the battlefield with four oil counters. At the beginning of your upkeep, we remove an oil counter. So it's going to be the next turn. It's, so he's going to have that turn, and then the next turn you're going to remove. If it has no oil counters on it, you lose the game. As much as I've been playing with him, I have never lost to Archfiend of the Dross. There's a couple of reasons. One, if you'll remember, we have a lot of sacrifice outlets, okay? We have Reckoner's Bargain. We have Braids. We have Staff of Completion. Um... We have a lot of ways to get rid of him. We can even play our own kill cards on it. We can play Infernal Grasp or, uh, or go through the throat on him in case we're getting there, um, which is not a bad idea in case he's getting down to the wire. If you're losing the game still, if you're in a position where a 6-6 six, six flying isn't getting you, winning you the game, um, then you're probably going to lose anyway. So Archfiend of the Dross is not going to is not going to really hurt you it hurt you that bad so absolutely he is a monster and part of the reason that we like him is whenever in a creature an opponent control dies its controller loses two life uh so now when they're losing creatures they're gonna lose two life and that triggers as many times as they die that doesn't have a limit like vran so now you're starting to see the gain and drain start building up here 
If we're talking about Phyrexian Gain and Drain, we got to talk about the Shale Dread, my girl. Um, two black and two four five death touch. Whenever you draw a card, gain two life. Nice offset for the Phyrexian mana that we might be paying. Uh, and whenever we uh, an opponent draws a card, they lose two life. Again, putting that life drain pressure on them from across there. And uh, granted, it is a Phyrexian Praetor. It's also a legendary creature. Now, the reason that we have all of these legends, and we're starting to get to the janky janky pile here, the 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 jankitude. Uh, the repeating abilities here. We're going to have an, uh, another four spot here, Radadrabic of Urborg. One black, one white, two legendary creature zombie wizard. Other zombies you control have uh, vigilance. He has vigilance and ward too, so he's, it takes a little bit to bust through him right there. Whenever another legendary creature dies, create a token that's a copy of that creature, except it's not legendary, and it's a 2-2 two -two black zombie in addition to its other colors and types. What does that mean? That means that kill your heroes, guys. We want them back as zombies. Why? Because we can actually get multiple copies of them. Three, four, five copies of them. You don't believe me? Check out Drivnod Carnage Dominus. Look at this monster. Look at this absolute beast. Two black and three, five total Phyrexian whore legendary creature. If dying causes a triggered ability of a permanent you control to trigger that triggers an additional time so all death triggers go off twice what does that mean vran goes off twice elias core goes off twice uh uh archfiend of the dross goes off twice um and radadrabic radadrabic guys goes off twice which means that you get two copies non-legendary copies of any hero legendary creature that dies so if we purposely sacrifice uh sheldred we can purposely sacrifice sheldred um we'll trigger all of these things we can play like something like uh reckoner's bank buster uh reckoner's bargain on it and uh we'll get two copies of sheldred out because the death trigger will go twice okay that is ridiculous. And that doesn't preclude the fact that we can play another Sheldred on top of it. So we could actually have three Sheldreds on the board off of one big play. We could have a Sheldred, play another one, and because of the legendary rule, one of them has to die and end the turn with three Sheldreds. Next turn, guess what? He loses three life when he draws a card. Boom. And not even to say that all of the death triggers for all the other things, Elias Core, Vran, and everything else will trigger multiple times. So Radadrabic and Drivnod, keep that in mind. Death triggers going off multiple times is amazing. Not only that, this dude is an 8-3, and he can pay two Phyrexian mana, which means you can either pay two life or the black. Exile three creature cards from your graveyard, and remember, we want to kill a lot of our own creatures. Put an indestructible counter on Drivnod. So now he's indestructible. The only way you're getting out of here is through exile. Unbelievably brutal. Unbelievably brutal. We have one invoke despair just for the heck of it, just to rip him out uh, for a little bit of card draw on the back end right there. You don't need it. You could actually put more um, if you wanted. You could put less if you wanted. Uh, however you want to do it, you could you could do it on there. But the Drivnod, Radadrabic, and all of these other legends going out we will have multiple, multiple, multiple copies of, of that, and we will absolutely hit Death Triggers a million times. Uh, six six planes, eight swamps. We could actually probably put more uh, swamps. We have Takanumas. Uh, we probably want two Takanumas uh, right there because that is legendary. Um, uh, Caves of Coleos. I want a little bit faster. We do Shattered Sanctum, Caves of Coleos, however you want to do Mana to Taste. Monumental Facade will give you that one ability to do the oil ability just in case you're kind of stuck. One Monumental Facade will have, will be able to help out with Arch Fiend, so you can kind of pair them up. Uh, throw one of them in there, why not? And a Rafine's Tower in case we need to cycle out somebody right there. Sorry for the long explanation, but it's kind of janky. Wanted to do it. Mostly Phyrexians here. If they're not Phyrexians, they're Horrors. They're nightmares, they're vampires, wizards, and zombies. 11 instant, one sorcery, two artifacts, three enchantments, 23 lands all together on a 2.6. I was land flooding so bad. If you need to add more land into this, I get it. I, I understand if you need to add more land, but don't forget Staff of Completion actually does count as kind of a mana rock that we can get some life out of uh, on there. That's our sideboard. Um, that's what we're looking like. Vertical, 
I mean horizontal, in case you guys want to see it. Uh, Carnage Dominus, and of course, Invoke Despair on the high end. Archfiend, Sheldred, and Ranadrabic. The four drops are really where you're going to want to live there. The two drops are also very, very important where you're going to start going. Um, a lot of removal, a lot of killing, and a lot of re repetition with the legendary hero spam. Uh, really, really cool stuff there. When it triggers, man, it goes crazy. People don't even know what happens. Like I said, we just we just absolutely smoke people when it when it when it hits. It hits. Um, uh, so we're gonna get into some games here. Kill your heroes. Leave a comment. Tell me what you think. Don't forget to like the video. Tenderly push it and uh, join the villains today. Hit the follow button. Hit the subscribe button. Besides, if you don't play this game, who the hell is going to read our services? It's ridiculous. Oh, yeah, that's the good stuff right here. How is a dog using a computer? I love those edits. I don't know if you've seen them, but it's uh, it's like somebody they edit other things into what the dog is saying in the in the bushes. <coughs> they'll ed they'll they'll edit like crazy shit in. So I think they had one that I was like, blah blah blah, try our bushes baked beans, and the dog goes, I've seen the face of God, and he was weeping. <laughs> Just like, why? <laughs> why? I have a feeling he is going to run destruction here. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna swing a bingo, and I don't wanna I don't wanna I don't wanna do too much here. I feel like he's gonna go for the wipe. Um, I might even run a record Earth bargain. If I feel like he's gonna hit me with like a farewell or something. I feel like he's gonna try to control me out, so I don't want to put Shell Dressy down too quickly. Touch the spirit realm. Who's he trying to put in there? Who's he trying to put in there? Who's he trying to put in the spirit tussie? <laughs> See, that's what you gotta do. Music. Thank you, Wolf here. Pass. All right, there you go. All right, now that I have another one. He might have a lockout. He might have another lockout here. We're gonna see. Yeah, he's got another lockout. I had a feeling, I mean, he's running white enchantment, so he's gonna, he's gonna be running lockouts. This is actually going to end up hurting him. Fall of Krug. I guess somebody does. Uh, 
Let's play the removal. Do it. Let's do pop pop. Alright, so we got <clears throat> discard a card. <clears throat> we have Reckoner's Bargain, which will give us the cards we want back. What is Fall of I don't even know what Fall of Crew do. What does it do? Choose a target straight up as your strength players. players. Mm. <laughs> Cycle that out. Radadrabic Urborg gain. Yes. We'll keep that one. Do that. Cycle that out. Uh, let's bring back the Shield Russi. <laughs> better have a board wipe right now, and it better be an exile, or all this shit's gonna come back to you and haunt you. Say you'll never say you want me to. Say you'll never die, you'll always haunt me. I wanna know I belong to you. Say you'll haunt me. Together forever, we'll be together. I belong to you. Oh, thanks Paradabo for rating. Welcome Paradabo. It's good to see you, Paradabo. Oh, thank you for rating, Paradabo. Oh, it's good to see you too, Paradabo. Oh, thank you, Paradabo. <laughs> Little Supernova. Hey, Mr. Tony, Redeemer. What's up? <laughs> Little off guard and unprepared. I will give you anything to say you want to stay you want me still say you'll never die you'll always haunt me i want to know i belong to you say you'll haunt me that's such a good song man stone sour man you know what it is he's doomed here this guy is gonna learn that he's he's absolutely doomed that's gonna die it's immediately gonna come back in as a guy Boom. Unless he has farewell, he's done. Even a board wipe. That literally the only card that will help is farewell. If he doesn't have it, he doesn't have it. There it goes. Bye, Looper. Dumpster trash on his face for Slipknot. <laughs> Say you'll never die, you'll always haunt me. What a good lyric, man. Because they're still dead, they're just a ghost. You know, and he's okay with that. A lot of stuff going on there, a lot of heavy themes and imagery. Kill your heroes, ladies and gentlemen. I told you you're fucked from the beginning. I gotta stop getting mad at the game. You know? Because the game the game flat out said, hey man, you're losing this one. It's just what it is. That's actually a pretty good hand. Uh Driv Nude. What's the deal with staff of completion? Uh, it gives you a lot of options, is what it does. It It's basically Phyrexian all the way down. So what it does is you can pay one life to sacrifice. Uh, pay one, two mana for any color, so it gives you Phyrexian. You can get the Proliferate off. Um, uh, where'd it go? You can uh, get a draw card for four life, and then for five mana you can untap it.
so it just it gives you a lot of options it, it it's it's a life i can gain a lot of life with this deck so i'm not i i don't really care late in the game to early play sacrifice a little bit and get get my ramp on Probably another removal. I would imagine. Yeah. He hasn't hit his drop yet, though, which is... And we are filling up the graveyard. Drivnut is, can almost get the invincibility off. And we actually almost hit the... Um... Even if he kills Drivnut, it's going to come back. So now he's kind of in a bad shape. <sighs> he's actually going to... This this combo is actually the worst. The Radadrabic Drivnut, which is kind of what I wanted to showcase... Because you get double the amount of tokens back. Because dying will trigger the ability. Um, I think he's figuring that out now. Ooh, Koth block? Yeah, he figured it out. He saw what it did. Just seeing the combo that I was going to combo out on made him quit. So that should tell you what that does. What's Koth block deck? That's a pretty funny name for it. Koth block. Hex gold hover wings. Man, I'm getting cough blocked. I'm getting cough cough blocked all night, man. Uh I don't even know what that is. You're going to have to explain that one to me, to nukes. We're going to have to get a Lord of Cinder out here to replay it. Okay, Okiba. Plenty of good options of removal as long as we draw well into our non removal. Um, there's Archfiend. Archfiend is. Here's the thing about Archfiend. Um, uh. Uh, here's the thing about Archfiend. Everyone goes, oh, but you lose the game if it gets to fucking light negative four counters. At that point, if you haven't won the game with a 6-6 six, six flyer or they haven't killed it, something is something is really, really wrong. Something has gone terribly, terribly wrong. Um, let's get rid of that right there. <laughs> yeah, something has backfired miserably if, if that has happened. Archfiend... They've either killed this card, you've won the game, or you've sacrificed it. It should never take four turns. If you're in a four-turn stalemate with this card, it's something is something is off. Um, Volt Charge increases counters on Fable, Chandra, and Koth. Oh, okay, interesting. I'll have to look into that. I want to get a mono red with um, glory, not Glory Dominus, but um, Inferno, Inferno Factor. Dominus, the red, the red guy whose name I can't remember. Um, Magpie, no, that's not gonna be it. That's not gonna be it, bro. Bro, I'm telling you right now, bro. This, that, ain't gonna be it. I'll have to look into that. The Lord of Cinder approves, so. 
that's that's a good thing when we hear that. Borrow time. That'll see. That's the thing. He's spending every single turn having to deal with that. Pop pop. He's he spent two turns having to deal with that. Um. Oh my goodness. That's an artifact, so we're gonna kill it. Resolve. Glory Dominus. Pop, pop. I can actually, if I get off this turn, I can actually kill my own creature um, and win. Topi Stopi. No, he's done. He's done. Put it on the Library of Battlefield. Tapped. My turn. Uh, we're going to do that. Pop, pop. Then we're, gonna, of course, going to kill our own creature. Fran is going to hit him with the drain, and he's out of there. Kill your heroes, guys. You think it, was, you think it wasn't an instruction? Think I was kidding? The way this deck wins is by killing its own creatures. It's a full-on Orzhov sacrifice. Um, I, I've never, I don't pay too much attention to a lot of the large streamers, not out of any kind of malice, but I don't want to see their builds and influence my own brain. Um, hey, what's up, Kitten Rescue? Uh, Hannibal, Fluffy Pants. So, like, if I watched a full video of like that mono red i'd be like whoa and it would it would kind of leak into my head and i would start i mean it's a good idea to get the combos and i hear about them but i try not to uh part of the fun for me is discovering my own bruise um like this one that's pretty that's pretty good right there y'all yeah. So the idea is what you want to do is you want to get Radage Rabbit and multiple copies of your um, multiple copies of your heroes out. All right, let's do that. Okiba. Pop. Okay. Lose. Why don't we put down an Elias Reactor Core? Doot do doop. Doot do doot doot do doop. Fable of Mirror Breaker let second phase having the Volt try to proliferate Kiki Jiki the same turn. Oh, okay, so it's a red proliferation card. <clears throat> I thought about doing that and I wanted to make a mono red proliferation and I wanted to call it nuclear proliferation. Because I usually call my red bruise nuclear. And I thought about like really accelerating, uh, like super proliferating, maybe even in an Orza. I mean, uh, is it? Um, so yeah, that was an idea that I had. Nuclear proliferation. So we're gonna, sw you know, what? we're gonna hold off. If I can get Radadrabic out, we're gonna be in business. Um, definitely gonna try a mono red here soon. What are you going to play? Is he going to play removal? No, he's going to hold steady. He got scared. He got scared, man. Rad Dravik is out, which means he's in trouble. Means he is in trouble. He might play removal now. Nope. He is in trouble with a capital T. Uh, yeah. Yeah. He can he can maybe hit the rat, the rat a drab. Tear asunder. Okay, so he exiled it. Hit. Not bad. So he couldn't hit the tear asunder and rat a drab. So I can hit Vran and then I can get two copies of Vran out. Um, or I can just, if he kills that, 
Radadrabic of Urborg? Yeah, he's, he's a son of a bitch. He's a real stone cold son of a bitch, let me tell you. Swing it in, man. I'm good for it, bro. I'm good for it, bro. Come on. There you go, man. <laughs> Swing it in, bro. Get to swinging. Your swingers, bro? Pop, pop, pop. <laughs> so even if he runs a full wipe on this, Thran will come back. This will trigger twice. And yeah, it'll be miserable. I can just kill my own creatures. Like I said, I can kill my heroes. And I could kill him. He'll uh, he'll lose life and then kill them again. And he'll lose life and he'll lose life again. That was a mistake. That was a mistake, homie. That was not the right move there, bro. No. See? The solution is not removal. That was me and my friend when we used to play um, Axis and Allies. We used to tell each other, your XYZ broke. Um, like, so whatever it was, whatever abstract concept, we'd be playing like a huge... I'd be like, I'm gonna fucking, I'm gonna invade Africa. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do an amphibious and invasion in, in Norway. And I'd be like, well, oh, you think I'm scared of that? Your amphibious invader broke or something, man. Get, get to get, get to getting, man. Put that shit on the board. <laughs> I used to go to the game shop every weekend, all Saturday, all Sunday, and play Access and Allies. The huge version of it, the massive like pool table side version of Axis and Allies. Um, okay. Alright, he's trying to run red here. Okay. Power Stone tapped. Yeah, yeah. let's do that. Shell Drussy. <laughs> the Ratted Rabbadingadong. Horn Seeker. Okay. Through the cold mist. He's trying to ramp to something big here. Tinder Spider. Thran Spider. And sometimes you gotta ask, man, bro, your attack button broke or something, man? Your attack button broke? Oh yeah, it's a it's a really fun combo. Anything that lets you play legends is is nice. Horn horn lizard seeker, okay. Alright, he's doing his thing, bro. He's doing his thing. Okay. Monumental facade, shell drussy. You want to lose that horn lizard, man? Got to double block it. Almost got in a fight with a crackhead today. Jeez. Bolt surge. Okay, I don't know why you declared blockers. Buddha boy. Rending flame. There it is. The rendy boy. Pop, pop. Welcome, Buddha boy. Drivnod, Carnage, Tyrant. Let's do that. Let's bring back Sheldrussi. 
I don't think that he's going to have the power to... I don't think that he's going to have the power to... Uh... I don't think he's going to have the power to kill another Sheldon. Maybe he will. Um... for it at the very least I'll gain the life he's gonna have to draw it told him not to touch mine or my co-worker's car again so he was just like straight chilling relaxing maxing all cool and banging on people's cars seems a little bit much Ooh, another draw, man. You don't want to do that too many times. Okay, let's do Glory Dominus. All right, guys. I've been waiting for this for a while. And he's going to say no thank you. He doesn't. I didn't even get to oil up Sheldred. I was literally sitting here waiting to uh, to oil up Sheldred and attack with her. And I, I got that taken away from me. SMH, bro. Sup, dude. Just got into Magic this year. Mostly a black player. Found my token zombie deck. Yeah, that's how everyone finds me. Um, and checks and stream. Love the content. Glad to finally catch a live stream. Welcome, my guy. Welcome to the show. Uh, welcome to the villains. Uh, I was literally, I know that like I have some, some videos I have like two subscribers gain from it and like my zombie videos all said and done is probably a thousand. Um, I, YouTube basically, if I put zombie in the title, YouTube basically, is like, oh yeah, this is the zombie guy, yeah. <laughs> oh, listen, we can oil up each other. It's cool. It's cool. So you can see the the deck is performing um, well now, which is why I wanted to point out that you can't get tilted about being in the barrel. Um, it's uh, it happens. Sometimes it's just not going to play into you. You got you got to fight through it and st keep a level head. All right, that's actually a good opener right there. Not bad. You got to wait for your hands. It's like poker. Um, I had a friend who was like a professional poker player, and he said, like, poker's a lot of things, but a lot of it is literally just sitting there waiting for your hand and betting big on it. Ooh, I think we're done here, boys. Double rot priest out the gate, and I got no removal. I think this one might be a... Uh, MTG Black for life. No. What's up? Oof. I'm going to have to take the hit here. So he's either going to have a... Um, he's either going to have a protection card. Or I'm going to just lose the game. <laughs> he's got a protection card. I lost the game. Oh, no, he doesn't. He does. He doesn't. He does. He doesn't. He does. Yeah, that's a that's a loss right there. Good game. No coming back from that guy, sorry. We can we can fight all we want, but double double poison trying to get him out? No. It's not happening. You gotta chalk that one up and get out of there. That that also may have been my deck. Uh which is a damn shame when your own deck kills you. Yeah, poison is, um, you either got a good hand against poison or you don't. Unfortunately, that's kind of just the case. You're either looking good against poison or you're not. Um, Oppo goes first, man. I'd love to go, uh, listen, here's what people, people are like, oh man, this is crazy. Poison's been in the game since like 1995, so it's actually not a new mechanic, um, it sucked back then, and it sucks now, but 
it's not new it's not anything they just invented um it's uh it's 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 been it's been there for a while and it ain't going nowhere apparently the toxicity of our city of our city Oh, I am on the wrong, I am on disorder, disorder, somewhere between the sacred silence and sleep, somewhere between the sacred silence and sleep, disorder, disorder. I don't understand. I've never known what he said in the man I don't know what the last part is. I've never understood it. What is he gonna do? He's gonna block it. Perfect. It's Britney bitch. I thought of both, so I don't know where that puts me. Cause you taste of your lips, I'm on a ride. You're toxic, I'm thinking over. I'm addicted to you, and you know that you're toxic. I'm addicted to you, and you know that you're toxic. A double shale dread, oh my goodness. Yeah, it doesn't look good in there, does it? Max Fool Comet. My my avatar derped out. Oh, I'm sorry. He's probably got removal. Nope, he doesn't. He might have drawn removal. He might have a despair. I would I would be I wouldn't be a corrupt. Oh wow, look at that. Nobody runs that. Alright, so let's do hmm. Yeah, let's do that first. And then maybe we can run Takanuma later. Let's meet let's make him keep spending the money. Oh yeah, it's sometimes it gets blocked. Gigs is command. Return. Okay. I'm gonna draw a mana right here. Watch this. Guaranteed. 30 32 percent chance, might as well say hundred. Oh, it's one of these. Okay, so let's hit Takanuma. Um Can do it. Let's take a hit. He's gonna draw a card to hit removal. Draw another one, man. Draw another one. There you go. Tenacious. <laughs> so I can sacrifice lands like crazy here. I'm not really worried about taking the hits because I'm gonna be gaining life off the back end. He could double block me. No, he's going to go for that. Braids is going to say... Uh, we want to sacrifice a black mana. Do that, okay. <laughs> yeah, but how many... I have a handful of lands, so how many can he afford? It's going to be the real question. There's Junji Ito. It's going to be a war of attrition here.
Who's Forest Mommy? He played most of his removal already. There we go. Yeah, that's the stuff. Yeah, Drivnod. Oh, it's that sweet Drivnod. Oh, it sings to me. turn we'll kill our caves of Coleos. he's gonna lose that and turn lose to life he could swing in the shale drussy Why did you do that, bro? Oh, he's going to gain and lose at the same time. Okay. Pass. He's going to come in. Pass. Pop. Draw. Um, let's see here. Oh, his goes off first? That fucking sucks. Mine goes off after him on the priority? That fucking sucks. Mine goes off fucking after him on the priority. That's fucking, that's horrible. Driven it is a demon. Yeah. Demons walk. A lot of the, the whatchamacallits walked. You thought Numbskull was my face reveal. No, man. Face reveal at 1 million. You get me to a million, I'll show you what I look like. Oppo goes first. See, part of the problem is I have a slower deck, and being on the pl I, being on the draw every time is not good for me, man. I've been on the draw 10 times out of 12, I think. Let me see. How many for OnlyFans? Well, that would be a face, wouldn't it? Certainly don't want to see other parts of me. I can tell you that much right there. Evolving Adaptive Bushwhack. I think this is a Fight Club. Bushwhack is a is a surefire, surefire sign of Fight Club. Yeah, you can't move a cat. It's the one of the number one immutable laws. There is an apocryphal, apocryphal story. Uh, I don't know if you know it. About uh, what's this gonna do? 
about uh, save the removal for Big Daddy. Yeah, I know what you mean because it's Fight Club. I know it's Fight Club. Um, do 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 do. Each opponent loses one. You gain one. Opponent loses. Okay. Let me see him. Show me. Show me that big boy. Show me that destroyer. There he is. He's got the fight too. Controller loses two life. One. Uh, six permanents. Bye, guy. Thank you for playing. I'm glad you got your fight off, but it wasn't enough. You want to swing at me, you better knock me out. You better knock me out with the hit. Better not let me get back in. You gonna come with that fight shit, man. Better knock me the fuck out. I knew he was going to do it. I knew he was sitting on it. I knew he was sitting on it too. Alright, Legendary. We got to play the Legendary. He's opening up, so if he opens up with... Oh, oh look at that. I was, it's really shocking that I didn't, wouldn't ever expected me to be on, the, uh, be on the draw there. Okay. All right. Drown in i -Core. Hitting the proliferate. Interesting, interesting play there. All right, so we have a Reckoner's Bargain, we have a Cut Down, and then we have an Archfiend and a Ratted Rabbit, so pretty open here. Fable of Mirror Breaker. Okay. See, let's see how much removal he wants to play. Necrogen Communion on Jawbone Duelist for Scrub's ability. Yes, it is. You can, uh, you can absolutely, you can absolutely poison somebody to death. There we go. Drown an I core. Okay, so hopefully we draw mana here. I'd love to, because I want to kill Kiki Jiki. No, it's Glory Dominus. You know what? We're going to do that. We're going to do that. I don't want him double doubling. Yeah, yeah. You can you can run in some you can run an Orzov Toxic. That's probably better than. Uh, uh, that's probably better than half the crap out there. So let's do this. Uh, let's do Ratty. Let's do that Natty Ratty. Probably going to hit with the Vuvel. But if he hits the Vuvel, that means I have... Um, that means I have six cards in my... Three cards in my graveyard to get Drivnid Immortality. So I'm not worried about that. So he's got to use an exile on that.
double hit. Okay. Draw a card and lose one life. That Phyrexian Arena might kill him. If he hits somebody with the removal, I think he's probably doomed. Yeah. Tim Sakamoto. Yeah, that's the doom. That's the doom for you, dude. All right. Well, you wanted to say cousin because of cat. You're having a. <laughs> There's always an interesting problem, cookies and stream. Every 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 stream. There's always a, a fun and unique issue that you're having um, that will, that prevents you from uh, communicating. <laughs> uh, all right, boys. I think we are going to leave it right there. We're running pretty late. Um, and we got, I think we made our point. When we can actually hit the cards, we do what we do what we do what we do. You know what I mean? So until next time, guys, kill your heroes. I've been Jay Villain. You've been great. Uh, the word of the day is sacrificial. Bye-bye.